Welcome to Samsung Electronics. In this video we will explain how to diagnose an E320 error. This error code means that there is a problem with the OLP sensor. The OLP sensor is also called the compressor top sensor. Firstly, we will start with some basic explanations about sensors. In Samsung we have two types of sensors. We have the NTC-103AT and the 204CTB. The 103AT has a resistance value of 10 kilo ohm with a temperature of 25 degrees. And the 204CTB has a resistance value of 200 kilo ohm with a temperature of 25 degrees. Looking to the difference of the sensors, we can conclude that the difference is in the purpose and in the temperature range. The 103AT sensor is being used for measurement of lower temperatures, such as condenser out, suction or ambient temperature. The 204 CTB sensor is being used for measurement of higher temperatures, such as discharge or compressor top temperatures. Below you can see a small summary of the values related to the specific temperature. Consult the installation or service manual for more information and the complete sensor value table. How to diagnose a sensor error? You need to check sensor condition, resistance value, and PCB output value. Check the sensor condition and installation and look for damage. When the sensor is damaged, replace the sensor and restart the system. After the visual inspection check if the sensor is connected properly to the PCB. If not, reconnect the sensor to the PCB and restart the system. The next step is to check the sensor on resistance. You should use a multimeter and set it to ohms to measure the resistance value. Our advice is to use small probes for inserting the sensor sockets. All sensors in Samsung are having two wires. Connect the probes to each wire and check your multimeter's reading. Make sure you disconnect the sensor from the PCB. And measure the resistance over the sensor. Compare this reading with the previous explained sensor table. The related temperature should match with the actual temperature. If not in range, or you measure an open circuit, replace the sensor. The next step is to check the PCB output when the sensor passed the test. Set the multimeter to DC voltage. Be really careful where to place the probes. You can damage the PCB. Mostly sensors are combined in one single connector. Make sure you use the correct pins on the PCB to measure the specific sensor you want to measure. You should measure a voltage of 5 volt DC. If you don't measure voltage or a value out of range, replace PCB.